Hello everyone, welcome back to Fusion Studios and today I have another modifier to show to you. Actually not modifier, it's modifiers because I have two modifiers to show to you. Now again, my workspace. <laughs> if you are watching this continuously, you might be frustrated with it that I always tell about how to change the workspace. Well, you know why I do that? Because there are many people who complained about it in the comment section that you didn't tell us how to change the workspace like yours. I, we like your workspace mode so that's why if you're the same then again go to the workspace layer presets vision presets choose mid flow and that's it just enable the toolbar by going to the fusion and checking this short toolbar directly over here choose this default oh that was it now we did this uh sort of animation in the last modifiers explained so yeah there are many nodes all the modifiers are explained here only in this project so that's why i'm just putting it all together and if you want to know about modifiers then you know where to go go to the channel and there you'll find at least six modifier explained videos which is a lot of information if you are new you know we made this template we animated this single cube animation with in just rectangle itself so the information is quite useful to be honest and you will like it with that said, let's come to our today's modifier explain video, which will be from image modifier. Now you guys look away. What? Which modifier? From image? Is this even a modifier? Well, actually, guys, it's not a modifier for every setting. It's just a modifier for a single particular setting, which is the gradient one. So I'll take the background, change the type to gradient. And in this gradient, if I right click, there is this option of from image. What does that mean? First, let me just, you know, show it to you. I'll click on this and something's happened. The modifier is enabled and it shows some settings. All right. If I view it right now, nothing will, you know, show. It will be just black. If I enable this modifier before that it will show the gradient. But yeah, uh, if I click on this modifiers and here it says image to sand and we need to type something. If I'll enter, well, the thing is happening. Why is that? Because you don't need to type anything over here. The thing is you need to put an image over here. So I have these many images. I'll select all of these and show it to you one by one. Oops. Yeah. So many images, right? Now I'll delete all of these mergers. I don't want them. I just want the images itself. So I don't know. Five. Okay. Five of them are there. Nice. The first one is, oh, it's not showing up or it is showing up, but over here. So instead you can just check this loop. It will just, you know, keep showing it again and again and again and again, which is very, very useful. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What is happening to us? It's so fast. Actually, this is 60 FPS clip and right now the project setting is 24 FPS. So you can do the math and that's why it's very fast. But yeah, whatever. If we come to this background again and I'll do this, I'll take this into the first viewer and put the background in the second viewer. Right now in the background, everything is black. Well, it's nice. I'll go back to modifiers and take this media and drag it to the image to scan panel. Wait, something has happened. Now, what is this? Actually, if you will look at it very, wait, wait, I'll not explain it right. I'll just show it to you first. So yeah, that's it. That's how you do it. And the start and end value will change the transform value basically of this. Uh, if I come to the tools again, and if I change the start value, so you can see it's basically again doing the same similar thing which the normal gradient does, right? And if I change to repeat and if I change the X value, so it will repeat it. If you have used background gradient, then you might know what I'm doing right now. But if you don't know, then it's also still fine. Okay, I'll come back to modifiers. I'll change this to media 2 now. And what is media 2? Media 2 is this animation which we made. Magnus Media Tutorial. If you haven't watched it, so go watch it right now. It's very cool. You see, it's again showing us these gradients based on the image itself now it's showing the gradient from the single point over here to the last point over here that's it okay if i go to modifiers and change the y value of it over right here maybe right here you see it is showing something different well why is that that is because the point has been changed that's why i'll not do anything over here okay i'll come back to tools and here if i change the x value well, actually, no, the X value is better to be changed over here only. If you want that, it should show the gradient. Uh, if I pause it over here, for example, on the last frame, if you want that it should show the gradient from here to here. Okay, it's showing the gradient based on the singular line. Whatever pixels are come beneath this line, it will make a gradient of it. Okay, it's basic, basically taking the colors you can see over here and how many colors it shows based is based upon this number of sample steps right now it's 10 so you will see that there are 10 colors to this gradient 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay now if you need to change this okay right now it's showing the pixels which are coming beneath this line what i will do is i'll change the y value of the start put it over here change the y value of the end put it over 
here and now it's showing me let me just make it over here so that it comes onto this davinci resolves blue part you can even see this over here too and now it's showing me the pixels which are coming beneath this line all right and you can even see it yourself the major major thing is the black part it's showing us over here then the blue part of this uh, davinci logo it's showing us over here and the red part it's showing us over here then the white part of this and then you know again and again just a uh, youtube's red color so red color then again black and black now if i'll increase the steps you will see more colors in it okay if i do 50 now it has been subdivided basically now each part has more colors to show and if i increase it to something like 100 so it's double of it it will show more colors if i increase it to thousand well that would be a lot okay <laughs> i'll not recommend you to do that i'll say 150 is enough to do that you see now it's also showing the white part of it so it has been subdivided basically and if you want to do the same over here so you might need to go back to modifiers again and change the y value something like that or you can you know manually do that who's stopping you put somewhere around here put this somewhere around here you see you now have the color of discord basically whatever pixel comes beneath this line okay the line of the modifier the, there are two lines here this line is for the modifier you can change and uh like see which line is which and this line is for the gradient so if i change this you can see it's for the gradient itself it's not for the this line kind of stuff uh, for the modifier it's for the gradient if i change to repeat and then change it then it will be uh somewhat useful you know you can by the way make really really cool things from that so the from image modifier is one of those modifiers which can be used to make or break the image it's very useful and unique for some cases so you need to explore it and find where it's useful for you but i know that it is for sure because the things which you can do over here just look at it man it's so crazy like there's a way take a gradient sorry to take an image and make a gradient out of it i'll just keep it as it is right now and boom you know what what comes first of all in my mind after seeing this what was coming actually we will like we can make the netflix uh intro from this it will be very useful by the way and i had one clip to show to you it's again from the series of magnets media which we did but the clip is different i'll go back to this uh background again take this one and if i show this media insects to you it was this card animation which we made okay so if you haven't watched it you can go and watch it right now i can by the way uncheck this media pool it's this line and you know increase the size of it just a little bit so that it's easier for you to cut it and put the background over here so somewhat like this so if i'll play it from the beginning oh first of all i need to change to once and put it like this and now if i'll play you see you can make that we'll just need to tweak some settings and yeah that that's it for the modifier okay the next thing is the edges see the parameter is same the start parameter onto this modifier and tools it's same it will do the same thing it will change the start x and y values of it okay the use case might be different that's it but the parameters thing is same so you have you might see in this in the merge you might have seen this in the transform and it's same duplicate canvas wrap yeah it's same so if i change it to canvas okay and if i change the x value to somewhat like this not really transparent because it's going outside this because i'm increasing the x value outside the canvas but if i change it to duplicate like it was like how it was so nothing will happen if i'll change it to wrap it will you know wrap it up wrap it up means repeat it basically and if i'll just you know keep making it go away so yeah it will wrap it up more so i can undo it or reset it by double clicking onto the value parameter and there's again the color duplicate and canvas you know all that stuff but yeah i'll just keep i just like it to keep it duplicate and by the way default is duplicate also so you don't need to worry about that and yeah that's it that's how you do this kind of uh you know gradient thing so in case if you're wondering if you have an image and you want to show it in the gradient manner so now you have a way you can use this from image and this modifier is only available is available onto this gradient itself yeah no other parameter has this modifier if i directly on the end modify with where is from image start again where is from image it's not the gradient type even doesn't have from image only a gradient has this from image and key switch and all that stuff you know i don't know i don't know about other but from image is just over there because i need to check on that and guess what that's it 
yeah that is it that's how you use this from image modifier you know to make these cool looking gradients if you use it correctly then you might come up with something really really cool okay and who is stopping you to make the netflix intro make it and share it on our discord server yeah we have a server which have beautiful community and there you can join right now we'll be doing some events so that's why I'm, this is some cautioning, you know, this is a, a sort of a caution sentence. Join it right now, otherwise events will be done without you, which I don't want. And in those events, you'll have a lot of fun. We'll do many things. We'll look into that, but yeah. Join Discord right now, link is in the description. And share the file with me. Yeah, maybe there will be someone who will need it. So yeah, let's talk about the next modifier. Actually, I wanted to talk about it earlier, but I just forgot. I don't know how, but I did. And for that modifier, I'll use the previous nodes. Now I can do single viewer. And we are done with the from image, so I will move it. So this is what we made in the last modifier explain video. I just explained you, I guess. And here I want to talk about a modifier, which is natural cubic spline. And you know, what is that? Let me explain. It's a very difficult modifier. You, if you use it, then you might be the God of fusion, to be honest. Yeah, you can do God level things with that. So in this transform as well, I'll right click onto this angle, go to modify with and choose natural cubic spline. And if I click on it, oh my God, what has happened? Something has happened. Go to modifiers. Oh, nothing is there. Why is that? That is because natural cubic spline is the spline itself which you use. You see, this is natural cubic spline. Yes, this is natural cubic spline. All of this. All right. If I take this polygon and in this polygon, if I actually want the length, go to modify width and choose natural cubic spline. Boom. You have this. You have this spline. Oh man, that is so crazy. By the way, if you'll just uh, keyframe it, you'll still have that natural cubic spline. So it's no special modifier. It's just, oh, every modifier is special, by the way. But it's just that the spline itself is called natural cubic spline. Okay, the spline itself, I'm saying it again. It's called natural cubic spline. And that is it. That's it for this modifier. So yeah, two modifiers are done in this video. We are pretty much close to close it. Uh, by the way, not pretty much close. Because how many modifiers are left? Actually, there are six videos and there are seven modifiers explained, seven to eight modifiers. And this will, no, this one will be six. I don't know. I, I'm very bad at maths, but yeah, you calculate it and you tell me in the comment section below right now. If you enjoyed this video, so like this video, subscribe to the channel, press the notification bell if you haven't, and you know what to do. By the way, uh, there's a new join thing on this channel. If you want to know more about that, so click on the link in the description below. And also tell me if the perks are right or not and what else you would like to have on those perks. Yeah very much appreciated with that said i would like to end this video uh again one more thing to promote <laughs> yeah promotion <laughs> uh all the files are available on the store so please go check it out these files especially these are really cool you'll learn a lot of them if you're a beginner and yeah with that said see you in the next one peace out